All right, what's going on guys? It's another night on this sucker. So today I have my glass guy come out and we did a new front windshield. Yeah, baby. So clean you can't tell it's there. And then uh, we did a back wind window. Yeah, they even brought me a freaking tinted one. It was awesome. So uh, yeah, it did pretty good. So and my guy hooked me up. I got did uh, front and rear wind or front windshield rear window uh, installed for like 250. So uh, I don't know. Sounds good to me. So got that done. Um, still a couple big ticket items we got to do is a hood and a grill. So that stuff might take a little bit. And then uh, you know we got a lot of stuff going on. So I'm kind of like realistically realizing that <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get it all done before I for my Moab trip. So uh, I don't know what's to play it by year. I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going and driving on it, but you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rush anything or because I got a lot of stuff you know for towing and stuff. You know I really want to upgrade the brakes. And, uh, or at least, you know, really good brake pads, uh, do some nice shocks. Um, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of body movement just because I think the shocks are pretty bad. Um, yeah, so there's just a lot of stuff that I want to do on it and that I need to do on it. But for, but there's a lot of work that I can do on it right now. So, um, so for tonight, I'm going to get out here. I'm going to get this, uh, Rear end tore apart here. We'll get the seal replaced. We'll have we'll inspect the brakes and see how they look. And then I'll probably start flushing some fluid through. Get a whole bunch out. Maybe I can get a bunch through here. And then uh, maybe I'll gravity bleed all of them tonight. And uh, try to get as much fresh fluid in there as I can. I think hopefully that'll make things feel a little bit better. Uh, and then once that's done, really, um, other than troubleshooting my headlight stuff, uh, I'll go around and check all the wiring because when I turned the right turn signal on the uh, the high beams came on and I think that the lights not working there's something going on here so we'll get that figured out and then just start you know doing stuff like I gotta pull the all the wooding off the decking off of the back um, and get access to the fuel tank so we can figure out what's going on with the fuel gauge if you remember it's stuck on full and the back tank smells like varnish so I want to get that fixed and make sure that the back tank don't accidentally start feeding the front tank and then I'm sucking varnish and sticking valves and stuff like we don't want that so I got to get in there and figure that out before I go you know cruising it around but it uh it's nice having some glass in there now I don't have to tarp it so I was happy about that it's kind of one of the first things that I wanted to get done and it looks pretty good so anyways that's it I'm talking to your off I'm gonna go get my tools and get busy How long that sucker's been leaking? Nice, nice. How's that rotor look? Ain't got some little surface cracks on it. Ain't too bad though. Probably get her turned down. When I do the brakes or whatever, I'll check the pads and yeah. Well, oh, shit, pads kind of low, so. So that sucker was a real pain in the ass to get off of there. I ended up like prying on it, got it off, and you can see like half of the seal is like ripped apart and like stuck to the freaking spindle here. So I'm gonna try to get that off real quick and then take a look and see how everything's looking. Hopefully everything's kind of a bearing. Don't look too bad, but we'll inspect it when we get the seal out of there. Goodness, I need to get my pressure washer and. Take these bearings out and just blast the crap out of the sucker. <laughs> it's freaking so nasty. I think I might do the same thing right here. Just get my pressure washer. I'll just cover this up and just, <laughs> just blast the shit out of that because that's nasty. Take me forever to clean that stupid thing up. Anyways, all right, let me try to get this freaking back of the seal off. Ah. 
So the brake shoes are at about metal. There ain't much left. These deals here, look at this. It's like, you're not supposed to have a, like a pad all the way through. I don't mean, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. But anyways, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty gnarly. I think it's got eight feet in the way. Probably, and the spindle looks okay. There's a little action here. I'm not sure what that's from, but let's polish that out a little bit. But yeah, the spindle looks okay. So now I gotta, I gotta get some of these shoes. So I guess maybe tomorrow I'll run down and see if I can get some, get some of these and some, uh, some brake, some, uh, some brake pads. Those pads are about done. I imagine the other side is the front pads. I inspected them from. When I was down up underneath, and they still look like they have a little bit of pad left, so I don't know. Like four millimeters or more, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, alright. I'm tired because it's got like too much grease, so it's like making me tired because I don't want to fool with it. <laughs> Anyways, alright, we'll keep going. I'll uh, get this seal out and we'll inspect things, and it's just oh, it's so greasy, it's nasty. All right, I gotta do a little cleanup here. I like doing this pressure washer because it just pretty much knocks everything to the ground and then I can just sweep it all up. But I got that all cleaned up. That was freaking nasty. I need to wipe this off and put a little oil on it. But yeah, it was nasty. Oh, you know, I should probably spray this mugger off too. Oh, this thing's so nasty. Oh, shit. It's heavy too. All right, guys, what do you think? A little bit better? <laughs> it got a lot of that grease off of there, so that's good. Just let it chill right there until I'm ready to do something here. Yeah, I blasted that shit right off, so cool. You can see it's like nasty. Like there was like nothing left. You can see it just blew the freaking the rest of the pad that was on the shoe off. <laughs> Anyways, I think we uh we walk around. Oh also, you know what I did? I blasted these screw heads. So now at least hopefully I can access them. I'm convinced if I'd have let this sit here, it just blew a hole through the wood, but who knows? Anyways. Yeah, that's a probably a pretty good spot to wrap the video. Just, uh, I don't know, I worked till about 10 tonight and pulling these boards off. It's kind of noisy, especially when you're trying to pop them off the freaking screws. So the um, screws that were in it were these guys right here, these big muggers. And uh, they actually, they weren't breaking at all. Uh, most of them, what I did earlier is I took my uh, pressure washer and you can see here like how I like sprayed across like these ones were like really bad but most of all the ones over there um, like clean cleaned out the freaking the Phillips deal and I was able to get a get in there pretty good but most of them were I had some some kind of cheap bits and then I had this craftsman one and it held up for a long time and then it finally gave out and then the other one I had was really strong but uh, it was a little bit smaller so it, uh, I don't know, it did a pretty good job. So, this is where I'm at. Oh, I reached my limit on my cord. Hold on a sec. 
I had enough screws in this sucker to build a freaking clubhouse. Anyways, all right, so here is this. Now, originally, I kind of thought I might have needed to add some support, but I think that this, this like I-beam stuff, I think that's gonna be more than strong. And none of it looks like it's like rusted out or broken or anything like that. It's just, yeah, so, and it's like, I don't know, what is it, like eighth inch or something? But it's, uh, I don't know, I'm sure it's plenty strong, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Just get some new decking. It'll probably take me a little bit before I can get some decking and save it from doge. But So there's the top of the tank, so I'm going to be able to access that pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is, once I get all those boards off, I'll um, probably vacuum out as much as I can, and then the rest I'll just get in there with my pressure washer and clean everything out. You can see this tank. This is the uh, the tank that feeds the front tank. So I don't know. I'm just gonna unplug it and then just worry about my front tank. And then once I get that figured out, then I'll see what I want to do with this tank. So because it does, like I said, it smells like varnish. So. I don't want it to accidentally start <laughs> start feeding the front tank. So I'd imagine the pump is down in it. So if anybody has any information on that, let me know. There's that big old, big old diff ski right there. So yeah, um, let's see, I'll show you. I think I looked at the front already, but I just kind of cleaned up the, with my broom and kind of cleaned up the deck here. And then I got all the screws loose that I could out of here, so. There's some that just wouldn't go, so I just had to pop them off. My GoPro died like on the first board because it didn't get charged all the way. But anyways, so I just kind of sprayed up in here. It's not I didn't do the greatest job. I gotta do it again, but it's better. There was a lot of grease from the from that hydro boost leak, and so at least now I can see it and get an idea of you know if there's an active leak or not so i blew a bunch of crap on my engine so once once everything is like all done and i'm like done with the truck i'll get in here and detail the engine and get it all cleaned up because you know my plan for this truck is to you know just like completely like <laughs> make it nice you know so like i'll probably end up i'll probably roll with these mirrors for a while but i'll probably end up um finding some like the big like just like the standard dually mirrors and then get rid of those big old honkers but they're a work for now but yeah i want to just get it nice and replace the fender down the road and just just make it like a nice cush holler so that's kind of the plan but uh we got a long way to go i'm just really trying to get it back on the road now and then i figured out this tire why it wouldn't hold any air it's got a big old freaking split on the side so i'm just get another tire so like really just kind of blew my whole making the Moab trip because it's like I gotta buy a tire and blah 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 and a grill and a hood and at least I got the glass though so um what else what else is going on okay yeah so on the brake situation here I got down I sprayed the sprayed the crap out of this so I was able to I was able to clean up the clean up the caliper and able to clean up clean up all park brake stuff look when I was <laughs> when I had this it just like blew the there was so much grease on it, it just blew the freaking whatever was left to the pad or the draw or shoe it just blew it off so anyways yeah so so I ordered I ordered um park brake shoes some semi-metallic pads and then I also ordered the lower fan shroud for up front so at least to get the fan situation taken care of and then at least, you know, my back brakes will be okay. I need to take that drum up. I gotta hammer the um, hammer the studs out, and press them out, and then take it up and have it turned. So I don't know. I'll probably get probably get the pads and stuff tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll be able to run that up somewhere to get it turned or not tomorrow. But maybe, maybe. But yeah, it was so freaking the. Ga or the seal was actually like stuck to the freaking spindle that freaking the thing one didn't want to come off so like half of it was stuck there and half of it was stuck inside the the hub so anyways i'm probably talking your ear off so i'm gonna let you go you guys have a good night i appreciate you 
get this video up so you got something to watch tomorrow. And like I said, you guys are awesome. All right, take it easy.